Hello. I know it's been a little while. I didn't want to dedicate an entire video to an update, but I feel like I should acknowledge how long I've been gone as well. If you don't care, you can skip ahead, but I'd like it if you listened. It brings up my watch time and I have an announcement in like 14 seconds. Between not being the best at juggling my two channels, I made two Luby videos. Even more recently, I've been making TikToks. I broke out in hand eczema for an entire month, which made drawing very hard. And the announcement. I launched my first ever merch store on Luby. I got a lot of cool stuff there, so please check it out. I want to do Candy Eevee themed merch as well, but it kind of depends on how well this launch goes. I kind of let go of the ball a little bit for this channel. I had a video I made about Gen 2 that was about 90% complete, but as I got busy with my other channel, I started to not like it, so I didn't finish it. I worried so much about coming back the right way, but then I realized it would be far easier to just make what I feel like making. I know it's kind of been radio silence on here, so I'd recommend following my other social medias like Twitter or Instagram where I do post stuff. Also, you might notice that my character has changed. I do like the design that I've been using up until now, but I just haven't been able to connect with it for a while. This new one is just a little bit easier for me to work with, and most importantly, the hair is shaped like an Eevee tail. Genius, I know. Tell me how good it is. But today, we're gonna have a look at a recent casualty of the Pokemon franchise. A loss felt so deeply within my being, I felt so compelled to bring it to your attention. I am, of course, speaking of the Pokemon.com mini-games. In January 2010, Pokemon.com went through a massive revamp, and with it came three new mini-games. Turtwig's Target Smash, Pachirisu's Click Clack Attack, I've said that like ten times and I still can't get it to sound right, and Munchlax's Berry Bonanza. From here, they continued to release new games around once a month. They weren't anything groundbreaking, just cute little Pokemon-themed games to pass the time. This was ten years ago, and I was a very easily entertained child. By the time I found out Pokemon.com had minigames, there was already a huge library to choose from. But I always ended up gravitating towards Snova's Dessert Drop. Barely even been playing this for a minute, and this music's already making me want to take the rest of the year out. This is how I chose to spend my formative years, surrounded by Pokemon and falling kiwi fruit. I know I'm analysing a minigame, but why do they even have kiwi fruit and not berries? Do kiwis even exist in Pokemon? You could earn trainer tokens from these games, which you could use to buy items for your avatar, or even to buy stuff in the online trading card game. Did I pay attention to this? No. I was dead behind the eyes, laser focused on a bowl of ice cream. I suppose not much has changed. Huh, <laughs> never mind. I'm gonna go play Bejeweled. I'm gonna go play Sableye's Gem Journey instead. I only really played these games for a few months or so, but they continued releasing more all throughout Gen 5. A few of these would be Excadrill's Tunnel Trouble, Berry Barrel Blitz, or Gathita's Portrait Panic. Even Maractus here got his own minigame. I'm surprised they kept this up through Gen 5 with their Pokemon Dream World, which had its own set of minigames, in full swing by then. One of these games, played to befriend a Pokemon, was only available for one month. You could only play it if you had a Trainer Club account, because it was connected to the Global Link. After it was taken down, people who had played the game were able to receive an evolution in the first ever Global Link event. I know it's kind of a long shot, but if anyone still has one of those evolutions, you should send a picture of it to me. But it doesn't stop there! They kept making more minigames up through Gen 6 and Gen 7 too! Chestnut Spiky Shield, Floet Float, Alolan Volcanic Panic... They were still releasing new games nearly three years after the Dream World shut down. I never even knew about these! All of these games were still live on Pokemon.com up until April of last year, when they were finally taken down with another website update. <laughs> My timing is impeccable. And so, they are now lost. Kind of. Some of them are still kicking about online. Probably not legally. But it's also worth remembering that a lot of these games are Flash-based, and Flash support is going away forever in December, so even if only for history's sake, we might want to track them down and get them archived. There are actually some more online games that are truly lost, though. Remember how I said that they started adding new games after a certain website revamp in 2010? Well, there actually were some games on there before the update. We know what they were, but the games themselves, or even any images of them, seem to have been completely eviscerated from the internet. 
There was Grass Matas, is, is that how I say that? Which was a Pokemon crossword puzzle. Tricks of a Trainer was a quiz where you would answer Hoenn themed questions. Deep Sea Diving, where you'd have to find the names of water type Pokemon. And two more, which are pretty interesting. These two are Tic Tac Toe, and an unnamed game with Shuckle in it. Not only are these two more complex than the other three games, but they were never actually publicly available. You had to know the right URL to even find them. But once Pokemon.com had its revamp, they were gone. Do you know what's not gone? Me! I won't take a break again. Ever. No, that's a lie. Um... <laughs> I am very grateful for those of you that have continued to support me while I've been doing other things. Your patience is... impressive. Don't forget about my merch! <laughs> I'm allowed to be a little excited about it, okay? I have been doing YouTube for far too long and this is the first time I've done any kind of merch thing ever, so... I'm excited. <laughs> All the links you need are below. Thanks for watching, it's 2am, I'm gonna go to bed, bye.